I'm Kate. I'm Allison. And I'm Sonia. And today we are dishing from Recess Tapas Lounge at 727 15th Street. It's just steps from the White House and it's tapas with a Peruvian accent. That's not a Peruvian accent, but it's great food. <laughs> I don't Actually, know. most of the things we have on the on the table today are seafood. We have an incredible looking scallop. Look at that presentation. Yeah. The lomo saltado is actually, uh, that's our Peruvian um, steak with French fries and potatoes. And oh, doesn't good. that look good? Look at this seafood salad made with the mussels and our camarones al coco, which is coconut shrimp, but doesn't it sound much better when it we does. say it all Peruvian like yes. that? And we have a wonderful new addition to the dishing chairs. We have a new host, Allison Preeby Brooks, is here with us, and she will be with us all the time. Welcome. I, I am thrilled. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you so much, Kate. And let's start dishing. Hello. Today we are dishing with Josh Norris, magician, mind reader extraordinaire. Yeah. Welcome to District Dish, Josh. Hello. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, I feel I like very do. dramatic. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, that very was good. I like it. Very exciting. We're thrilled to have you here. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. He said he's a mind reader and can. Yeah, and I've heard he's pretty good. Only if you're willing. You know, I don't dig too deep. We can <laughs> let you focus on some things so your mind doesn't wander. Oh. Now yeah. this isn't a town where uh, you know people are in politics or people are lobbyists or or we've kind of gone yeah. a little bit creative, but we don't know that many magicians and mind readers in town. Well, they're so. all magicians. And that's right. Like, <laughs> that's the, <laughs> it's all about you know tricks and perception. Uh, in psychology. Uh, but yeah, this isn't a city with a lot of magicians or a long history of magic. Uh, I've been here my entire life and I've been doing magic in town uh, for a while, uh, but this show at the Helix that I'm doing every week is relatively new. I've been there for three months now. Okay. You know, they say about magicians, you know, there's nothing up my sleeve, but you're like sleeveless, deep V, mm -hmm. there's nowhere to, nowhere hide, to hide, with hide you, right? Nowhere to hide. So what do you, you're going to do something for us? You have a we deck can. of cards. We so can. You want to get it. weird? Can we get weird? Okay, let's do it. Let's get let's weird. Do it. <laughs> weirder. Weirder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to have you do this with me. Okay. I'm going to run through here, and whenever you like, just call out. I just wish I could stop. do It's a normal deck okay. of cards. Normal. I've seen it. It looks yes. normal. Yes. All right. Say stop. And stop. Here? Yes, sir. Okay, now I get to see your card. We'll show it to everybody, even the people at home. Okay, four of clubs. That'll be for you. It'll okay. be for the group. We'll share it. All okay. Right? And I want you. I want you to get. I want to get your autograph. I'll be your easel. Sign your first name, nice and big. There. Gladly, my John Hancock. There you go. <laughs> cool. Okay, turn towards me. He oh. must have to buy a lot of packs of cards. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's right off. It's right off. Yes. There you go. Okay, here we go. Uh, four of clubs. Okay, we're gonna make it a little more special. I'm gonna fold it up in a little square. Oh, wait, that's fair. Look at yeah, me. Wait, no, okay. Okay. I want you to smile. And hold this right in the tips of your teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah you okay. gotta trust me a little bit. Okay, <laughs> look, the next card, this will be mine. Okay, queen of diamonds. All right. Check this out. Oh, he out. gets to eat the queen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fold mine up as well. We're gonna do the same thing. Look at me. All right. Okay. Okay, this is gonna get gonna, weird. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Okay, we saw him eat it, and then we watch, saw watch, him. Watch, watch. Okay, this Check is this gonna out. blow my mind. <gasps> what? How? Okay, that that's green. Uh huh. I've got yours. Check it out. Check it out. O M G, Josh <laughs> Norris. Yeah, you know what that means, right? I'm gonna call me later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, go on exchange cards. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing you do in this city all the time, yeah. but you don't usually see oh. it like that. No, not like that. Not like that. Well, that that was amazing, and everybody's gonna want to like know my, your trick. I but cannot, what do you say? I can't. I can't even talk. That. Yeah. I'm sitting right here. I have no idea what happened. That's the beauty of this kind of magic, and the show that I do at the Helix, which runs through October 27th, is almost the same setting. There's about uh, 50 seats, so there's no bad seats, which is the best way to see a magic show. So even if you're five rows back, I mean, you're as close to the action as you can get. If you go and see a magic show in Vegas, you're you right. know, 40 rows back. You can't really tell what's going on, but this is a really intimate setting, and you're as close as this, and that's the best way to see a magic show. So where do, where do these, I'll call them tricks, Okay. Come from? Did you have to learn them somewhere? Do you come up with them on your own? Did you have a master magician help you? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. Um, I, I grew up uh, near Baltimore, and there's a magic shop up there called Denny and Lee, and there's a big community of magicians. So while there's no teachers for magic, uh, it's almost a community model where you help each other, uh, there's mentors, and then over time, as you learn, you start to develop your own routines. And so this show that I do at Helix is all original material, but it borrows from things that magicians have done in the past, and that's really, uh, magic has a really rich tradition, and there's no way of doing something that's completely new. You just sort of do it in your own way, with your own twist. Now I've got a question for you. I've got yeah. a, a nine-year-old who is obsessed with magic. Uh -huh. Now is your show 
are, are youngsters allowed to come or is it over 21? Yeah, I don't recommend the show for anyone under 13. Okay. It's not that there's anything inappropriate in the show, but it is an adult program. It's in a location where they serve alcohol. I recommend it for a couple who wants to go out on a date, for a group of friends. So there's nothing blue in the show, but it really isn't for well, kids. Hotel, Magic like show on a date. Oh, no. first date. Okay, That's why would it be a good, you're mind reading, kind of, right? <laughs> why would it be a good, yeah, like somebody know, in this room is on a brilliant. bad date. So yeah, so what, what kind of mind reading? things are you doing? Well, the show itself is all about uh, pushing the envelope as far as what you can do with your mind and what you can do with your body. There's a lot of physical stunts in the show. And so while it's not pure mind reading, I use body language and psychology and hypnosis and suggestion and all these wonderful tools to create the illusion of mind reading. So you might be taking clues from someone's facial expressions, from their posture, from the way they're sitting, uh, but you put all this together to try and figure out what it is that's on their mind. One of the pieces in the, the show... The body language of like all three yep. of us is like gap mouth. Yeah. Like, uh. yeah. <laughs> right, so read, give, give us a quick mind read. I can give you a piece right out of the show. Okay. Right out of the show. Okay. So one of the topics I explore in the second half of the show is how far we can push our bodies, not just our minds. And uh, this is something I discovered I could do uh, about 10 years ago, and I've never actually done it uh, in a show until this year. So uh, it starts with some sewing thread. I borrowed some of this from my mom when I was a little kid. I showed her this and it totally freaked her out. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the same thing. Watch. So he's wrapped it around. Okay. Right. I'm sitting right here. You ready? Nothing. Oh. You ready? Here, give me your hand. He's wrapped it around. Watch, 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 watch. He's eating it. That seems to be a theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <clears throat> That is <laughs> He's coming out of, his it out of his eye. Out of his eye, and you're that's in your eye. <laughs> He's literally pulling it out of his eye. Oh, Ow. Are you that? gonna put it in my hand? I'm Ow. not sure. <laughs> <sighs> that had to hurt. So read my mind. My mind is like, <laughs> why would you want to do that? No, that's you're, what you're thinking. Mind, yeah, exactly. Why would you want to do that? That's crazy. My mind Thank is you. taking my card back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that was pretty that's crazy. fascinating. So I don't know how well that came across on uh, on camera, but Wait, let um, me just tell he you, just pulled you, a string out of his eye. Put it in his mouth. It came out of his eye. Yeah, you don't want to do that. And I was sitting right here. So the show is all about this kind of thing, not things that are necessarily this shocking, but about how far can you push yourself. Something that all of us think about on a day-to-day -day basis, right? But this is exploring topics that you might be familiar with, but taking them much further. So we've all heard of suggestion, but there's pieces in the show where I try to risk $1,000 cash on a chance at suggestion. It's a one in four chance that I'm going to win, a three out of four chance that the person from the audience is going to win. And so this really puts everything into perspective. So it's how far can you take this? How much can you influence someone's decisions or tell what they're thinking? Well, you're really entertaining and engaging. So I think everybody yeah. in your audience is a winner. Yes. To, come, to come and see you. At I the mean, hotel it sounds like, like it. Yes, that's if right. If you, you ever need go? a lovely assistant, the three of us will duke it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys should come to the show. I will get you front row seats. We'll be and there. Uh, there's a lot of surprises. Well, there. If we're getting the front row seats, but you can also <laughs> win seats. But in order to win seats, you have to continue to follow the District Dish on Facebook. We will be announcing a contest in the month of October mm -hmm. for yeah. up to six tickets. Yeah. So um, follow, of course, follow Josh Norris on uh, on. Facebook and we might even be well. selling Kate in half. I'm <laughs> scared <laughs> 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 Thank you okay. so much for being That was awesome. Thank you. For pulling string out of your eye for you know, picking. I aim to please. This is, this I told you it would get incredible. weird. Yeah. It was weird. We can handle yeah. it. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> and thank you for being with us. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Make sure to try to win those tickets, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.